and began when she was only 14. More recently, she hosted her own television talk show. Today, she's in the news again for being the subject of the first nude painting accepted into the prestigious Archibald exhibition. Would you welcome, please, the wonderful Kate Sobrano. <laughs> Kate, welcome. I went along to the New South Wales Art Gallery yesterday, not knowing I was going to talk to you today, <laughs> and went to the Archibald exhibition. And I must say that the two paintings that were attracting the most attention for different reasons mm -hmm. were your own and uh, the portrait of Malcolm Turnbull. Have you been to the exhibition yourself? Well, I have wanted to. I just got back in Sydney this last week mm -hmm. and um, I didn't bring my wig nor my glasses <laughs> that I normally do when I'm travelling incognito. I sort of, I'm a bit scared actually. Are you? Yeah. Why? Why? Well, because... Um, I'm scared that somebody's going to see me there, standing there, kind of looking at myself in all my glory. But basically, they'll they'll misunderstand it. I've I've actually seen the portrait. There you Here go. Here we are. Oh, put it away. My mother-in-law's watching this. <laughs> no, it's very beautiful. It's it like, is very uh, very beautiful. Absolutely. And I've got to tell you also, that apart from it's now, a painting, by the way. That's not a photograph of me. It's, just, it's a painting. Just remove it from the, you know. When I, oh, I was standing there yesterday having a little perv, my, no, sorry, looking at the penny. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, Please be honest. But they, but they, no, but I have to tell you, the majority of people looking at were in fact women, and, and approvingly too. Well, one of the interesting things about it is that um, the, the painter is, a very, is, is my dearest friend's boyfriend, and I've known him for a couple of years now, and he's a, a man that you don't take... You know, he's not a flippant man by nature, and um, his integrity and his actual skill is so uh, obvious when you see the painting, as you've seen it. So it's a beautiful him. painting. No, oh, very much, very much. Did, well, when, it, when was the first idea first mooted that you, you do this painting? How long did it take to make your mind up? Well, it, uh, it, funnily enough, it didn't take a long time to decide to do it. Only, um, he was the only person who I would have done it with, and uh, because I trust him and I trust his talent. And I've been asked, you know, on a number of occasions to do photographs, but I think photo photography and painting is quite a different medium, you know what What's I mean? What's the difference? Well, because in painting, you know, you can take away a few stretch marks and a few bulges and things <laughs> like that, and you know what I mean? Fantasy, that is woman, yes. Yes, I know exactly. No, but, no, you know, I, I actually didn't have much say over the, the, the end product of the painting, but I did trust him. And photography is a very... It's a very immediate thing, a very immediate medium. Have you posed nude for a photographer before? No, no, I haven't. No. no. And um, I've, uh, as a child, I actually used to pose for a sculptress. So I've actually, I've, I've, you know, been involved in the arts at that level before. Mm. So it wasn't that too unusual. What about your, your family? What about their reaction to the, all the publicity that surrounded you posing for this photograph? Yeah. Has, has it been positive? Well, to be perfectly honest, they were a little nervous, actually. And I think that, um, basically, because I've grown up here in Australia, and I think that I sort of, I belong to the Australian audience. They've seen my growing up here through from 14 now to 27. A bit like Shirley Temple taking her clothes off. Well, it is a little bit. Yeah. And, and it's kind of, you know, my mother just thought that um, she didn't want to take away the integrity of the art. And because, fortunately, the Archibald is such a recognised and... Um, prestigious institution mm, mm. it uh, the media were very kind and they were very um, they weren't gratuitous and you know lurid which was good mm. I was really really happy about that but they were concerned who, who will have the painting will you buy it yourself well it belongs to me oh it does yeah and actually and we've had a, a few offers have you? <laughs> and uh, and actually if the gallery itself I mean I, I actually don't mind it being in a gallery but I couldn't bear it to be in someone else's home that no. would really freak me out <laughs> I was going to ask you how much you wanted for it <laughs> <laughs> than you can afford, oh, I well, can probably, tell you. Probably, probably, probably. After these two shows, you'll never know. But, but you, uh, can I just say something, though? My girlfriend, who was there at the opening of the Archibald, had told me that a lot of women had been mm. looking at this oh, yes. portrait. And it's funny, because because of this fact that I've grown up in the public eye, they feel they own, you know, or know me well. Mm. Mm. And they sit there and go, she doesn't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no, she's not. She's much skinnier though, or much fatter than that, or oh, that's just too. Far, you know, like the she said, it was hysterical to hear the report. Well, just just finally on this on this subject. I mean, I I don't think you've anything to worry about. So I think it's a very beautiful painting. I think you should be proud of it. I mean, I am, it's, yes. it's it's funny. And anybody who's not not gone along there should go along to the gallery. It's interesting actually this Archibald Prize because you know there's a lot of people get sniffy about prizes for for works of art. But mm. in fact, when you see the people there crowding that gallery, you you think yes, it's working. I mean, you can yes. get people into a gallery like that. That's it's like right. being at the race. Yes, yes. It was packed, you know. yes, it's quite, it's oh, really good. a prestigious yeah. event. And have you ever been asked to pose in the nude? That's what I wanted to ask you. Ah, <laughs> the interview because, is coming up. Well, yes, ah. because you see, you know, we're I, I public once, people. I was, yes, so many years ago, I was, I was asked to... to <laughs> The first issue ever of the of uh, Playboy in, in, in England. <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> and I said, guys, particularly uh, tickle uh, yeah. <laughs> And I said, if you can find it, you can photograph it. Bob, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, uh, uh, on the, on the question of interviewing too, of course, which I mentioned mm. there, you've you've had your own talk show, yeah. Kit Sobrano and Friends. Mm. And how did you enjoy being on the other side of the? Of the microphone, if you like. Well, unfortunately, we had so little time in the actual uh, creation of the program. It had had no pilot. Uh, we had two weeks to shoot it. And I didn't actually get to experience it. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, one of the things I did learn, and I, I have to... Um, I have to compliment you on, you know, your skills as a host because it is very difficult to play second to your guest, mm. which you, you have to, in a sense, because mm. you have to listen you have to acknowledge them, you have to um, cater for them if they're a bit delicate or they're a bit shy or mm. all these things and I hadn't realised just how difficult it was. Mm. Are you going to do some more? I'd like to but if I do do it um, next time I think that I'd like to have more time to develop my own abilities in that yes. sense because I did end up sounding a bit silly sometimes. <laughs> well, it's, uh, there's no script is there? No, and no, not really. And it's really. It's, uh, anything can, can happen. Do you have any any people who were hostile, no, not hostile, but it's awkward in the sense that they... Well, of all the guests that I invited, they are notoriously um, intro... Well, and I say this in the nicest possible, they'll understand this, but, you know, they're, they're, they're media shy, you know, and that's the reason why I actually asked them. I thought that perhaps so I could, you know, warm them up into a conversation So you picked the, 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 the most difficult task of all, really? I picked what I'd considered the most interesting mm. people, and mm. they happen to be, um, you know, they happen to be... A, a quite a challenge. Kate, yeah. you mentioned earlier on when we were talking about growing up with the Australian audience, and yeah. you, you have been you know, a young person, you've been you know, in the business an awful long time. You once said that you believed you were too old for Australia. Yeah. What, what exactly does that mean? Oh, well, you know, you just figure that there's a point in which the public is going to chew up and just, <coughs> you know, <laughs> I've had enough of that flavour now, she's a bit dull and boring, you know. <laughs> and um, certainly I think that my market has moved out of what was um, officially a younger market yes. and now that we've all grown up they've grown up as well as I have you yes. know maybe my market now is into sort of like the late 20s and on but um, I'm not sure it's said for instance my music appeals to 15 year olds today and that's an interesting thing to but, but the thing about your you're, you're so versatile musically you can spread yourself across well, any kind of age group can't that, you? That's, I can't, and you can sing Cole great. Porter you can sing <clears throat> Yeah. You know, the classics like that and sing modern music as well. Yeah, um, it's, I, I have free range, it's really lovely. But I do feel like I'm getting on. I still find myself getting in gyms on, and stuff God. like that. No, I'm serious. Course, you, watch, you watch the Oscars last night and there's these women who are like really thin and just exquisite. You, did you girls feel that? It was just like, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there with my boyfriend, he's saying, you know, it's okay if you've got a large derriere, I still love you. And you're kind of, what do you mean? <laughs> I see the painting, I think your boyfriend friends lucky. Oh, right. <laughs> thank <you. laughs> Thanks for, uh, for coming on the show. Thanks for making my first interview on the show so very easy. Kate right. Sobrano, thank you thank very much. You.